first. This is that Scotts I picked up the side of the road. Uh, it's got a Tecumseh engine on it. For whatever reason, I decided to go work on it today. Uh, I did pick up this one today. I already power washed it. It's got a bent blade, so I don't know. But it had a new bag. Anyway, this is that Scotts by Murray, and I have a bag for it. It says Murray on it, but going through this, this is... Ugh. They... It had a new air filter, and then when I power washed it, this got all wet, so I'm just drying it out. Um, look at the size line that, a fuel line they put on this thing. That's way too long. Way too long. So, probably shorten that up or put a different one on. Um, I've had one of these before, this exact same engine model. Um, and... If I need to replace the carburetor, I actually have a clean carburetor for this, which is odds of me having one that's 20, 20 years old. <laughs> so it's the only clumsy carburetor I have left because these are kind of rare. This overhead valve kind. Uh, right now, I'm just taking off the starter because um, this was electric start and it, it's not going to work anymore. So I'm just going to take it off to make it lighter. Um, so a little update. I know this is kind of choppy and all over the place. Here's the gas tank. Just cleaned it off inside. It doesn't isn't cracked. Um, I have removed the starter over there, and it looked like there was a stator or something. But uh, it's all over there. I just I'm not going to use it. I just unplugged it, and it had, it had something up here on the coil. It was it was uh, bolted into. So now that the Starter is gone. Uh, this thing makes should make it a lot lighter and let's um, go uh, try to put this all back together to see if it runs. But I gotta first shorten this fuel line to the right side, light, right length. Looks like they had uh, what got a foot at the auto parts store and then just. Didn't bother to cut it to length. That's kind of lazy. But thing to note, here's a starter. It says made in Italy. So maybe it was a Tecumseh Italy that was doing some of this stuff towards the end. Well, I'm gonna get lazy. I, I got this um, hose clamp assortment from Harbor Freight. I'm just gonna go ahead and put one of these on it. I know this isn't the right one, but who cares? It's a lawnmower, not space shuttle. Anyway, that's terrible. I'm saying that all the time. Anyway. Just gonna put that on here and then put everything back on. Uh, well, newer style recoil is back on. They have this thing, and you have to have it in a certain way. This cutout here for it to even to go on to put your screws now back. I'm gonna on. see if this thing kicks over. I've got some carb spring I put in the into the carburetor. See if it'll pull over. See if it got spark. I, all the other stuff I just took off just so I could get to this. Um, and I'll probably, if I have to go to the carburetor, I'll probably have to um, take off the recoil again, which is an annoyance with these Tecumseys. Okay. Let's see. Hey, looks like we got a runner. Uh, let, me just, let me just drop the bowl and take a look at it. Okay, to, there's no gas in this anyway, so uh, to get to the bowl, I'm just going to take the bowl, the bowl out and take a look at the, what the bowl looks like. If the bowl isn't that bad, this carburetor may be fine because uh, getting into this thing is difficult because this is, has kind of a fast, slow throttle on it or turtle rabbit uh, and all sorts of adjustment screws which oh yeah, it's leaking gas or something so well it doesn't look that bad let me just do a maybe i can get away with the quick and dirty i'm not in my garage i've got too many lawnmowers in there so i should yeah so probably yeah, it's actually kind of a nice day today so let's just uh do a quick and dirty clean on the carburetor. 
the ball just uh, do that and then take a this is actually a brass bristle brush this is the most important thing the jet nut and it's actually clear so i'll just ream wire through it and the one hole that's up on the side here and clean out the, the hole on the side of this bull uh, jet there it's right there it's very hard to see and you need a wire from like a twisty tie for or, or a bristle brush to get it just that has to be clear um most to come most of the comes carburetors have that and then just clean it out with carb spray okay back here uh cleaned out a little what i can from the carburetor i may have to take this off may have to reset the float leg height but how these tecumseh carburetors are is that that little this little divot here in the here in the, in the on the bolt they have to be it, that has to be parallel to the um uh to the pin which is so it means it goes on kind of like that so <clears throat> yeah half inch or 13 Should be good. So let's stick some gas like this. Will, I can prime this and it'll and it will start. dirty didn't work i'm gonna take the whole carburetor off now the easiest way to get this off is take these two bolts off the intake the other way is to take these off here and that's more difficult because you have to deal with all this, these linkages up here i do have another carburetor that's for this lawnmower uh, for this engine so, to get it off from here use a three ace uh, inch socket um let me get my drill okay got it out I did not tear the, tear the gasket. Now, I gotta take off the fuel line and breather to get to the carburetor. To take Point. it off. We have the linkages up here. Take a picture, make a note. The one with the spring goes in the bottom on the hook and the one with that's just a hook goes uh, on the top one. Let's, and let's try not to get this thing screwed up. Yeah, so you you got my back. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> so, uh, let me see here. But yeah, the one with the spring goes to here. 
got that off and then now we got the other one there and now i just got to pull off that fuel line with my pliers and off comes the carburetor and then, like i said the other way to get it off is here and i do all this and that's that's a, a big mess I've done, that's how i used to do it um, the risk with this taking off here is you tear the gasket which there's supposed to be a gasket there and there is so let's disassemble this and give it a good cleaning and once over take a look at the needle seat and all that stuff what i've done tubes is i have uh, i have i had the identical carburetor and set up from a scrap mower i had scrapped years ago same engine so it has the same setup so i transferred the carburetor intake and you know all that stuff and then i took the top off the, all the linkages and stuck it on the new carburetor or this other one i'm going to try this one and put it in i don't need this extra breather i'll attach the breather and i'm done so when putting this on this this one oh shoot we're out of the gaskets there goes here and the top here that goes on then this ah where'd it go ah this goes here and I believe this way. I think I've got the linkages set right now. Let's attach the breather here. So here, the linkages. Hope that's right. Uh, gasket here. I was able to peel it off of the other one. This whole intake and carburetor is from the, uh, the scrap mower I had, I had scrapped, <laughs> but I had to. Uh, the, some, they had to, I had to put the float and stuff on the this one because it was missing. I, apparently, I used it for something. So uh, let's see here. Let me. Uh, It's the next day and I was going back to this to come since I couldn't get it to start and I was reviewing some pictures I took which is beforehand and I had I think I had this linkage backwards I had it going in from the top rather than coming in from the bottom and up so maybe that's why it was it wasn't running right so I'm gonna put this back on and we're gonna try again Okay, I'm in my garage right now. I think I when I I just uh, changed some linkages. I think I got this to run now. Um, I may have to, I'm gonna have to adjust the idle at some point, but it's all the way on fast. Let's see if we can get this to run. is just not running high enough so that's probably uh, some sort of adjustment screw on that uh, in here somewhere to uh, cause it to pull on the, the um, governor more hey, tubers I think I got it um, there's a couple ways to adjust the idle on this uh, there's some couple screws bolts in here you can do uh, screws in there you can adjust um, I decided just to 
undo this and that one and then slide this whole plate forward you can see the old where the old bolt where they all were so i just uh loosen things up and slid it forward and this thing now idles perfectly at the right speed so i'm just going to leave it that way if it ain't broke don't fix it especially if it's a tecumseh um and i'm going to show you here it runs i will put the air filter uh, on as well here we go i got it on fast idle gonna prime it now and uh, self-propelled works too so that uh, linkage is always on these Tecumseh's um, I might change the oil I got a bag for this and I got to sharpen the blade this is pulling my hair out anyway that's how these things work here you can see the linkage like that I just had to switch I couldn't I wouldn't have figured that out and, unless I had had a picture uh, from when I took it apart. I was just fine-tuning this Tecumseh carburetor on this overhead valve model. It's got one of these high-tech uh, turtle rabbit speed settings and I couldn't get it to, it wasn't running right on fast, it would surge, and on slow, on turtle, it would just um, die. So I'm just going to show you where the, there's a lot of torque spit, uh, that you can turn to set things while it's running. You have to do it while it's running. So what you do is, oh, it's just hot. Um, this is on high. Well, anyway, the, this, that one is the high, uh, the high speed. So you can uh, adjust that by turning it in and out to set the high speed. To set the low speed, it's, um, this one that's your idle speed you can set it that way and there is a something here as well that uh that i don't know what that does but there's a screw up there I might adjust something but uh, after i adjusted it it was fine uh i so i'll give you here a start and that will probably be the end of this uh um it's got, again, it's got a new air filter as I found it. New fuel line that I shortened, shortened up over here. Um, I swapped the carburetor to another one that I had that was for this particular model. And uh, I think I, and I emptied out the gas tank and I think that's all I had to do to the own sharpen the blade. And uh, I happen to have a Murray bag that fits this because this is made by Murray. So uh, let me out and let me give you a final start here. And I will wipe this down before I put it up for sale and uh, test it out. Final look, I'll be here by the carburetor muffler setup. Um, this uh, Scott's by Murray with a overhead valve Tecumseh, which are pretty rare. Um, I've only seen two of th two other ones, and they seem if you end up if you crank on the, the the blade a little bit too much or tighten it up too much, it will break something internally. I did that by accident, but anyway. Uh, so here it is. Prime it. It's on high.
and that's how you adjust it. The self propel does work. I, I'm not gonna start it up again. Uh, it is kind of loud, uh, but it does work. I had a bag, sharpen the blade. Oil's good, new air filter, new fuel line, and I made it run. Uh, this carburetor is from uh, uh, one from my, uh, another one I had uh, not long ago, uh, a couple years ago that I ended up scrapping it, uh, but I kept the parts. So next till next time, later, see ya.